Hey folks, Tivik here and welcome back to my Applied Energistic Tutorials. Today we are going to make a balancer. A balancer is a build that will keep a given number of a certain item in the system at all times. So for this I'm going to ask it to keep 256 sticks in my system at all times. So why don't we get started on this? For this, we are going to need a few certain items. First of all, a crafting recipe in the molecular assembly chamber, okay? So I put in my crafting uh, pattern. Remember, you make that using the pattern encoder by putting in the recipe. You can either use the recipe by shift-clicking and clicking encode, or you can put the items in manually, like so, and just encode it, right? Got it? Perfect. Now, we are going to place down the ME interface that we have here. Because that's the main item that you need. The ME interface is used to input the items back into the system. Through crafting them. Alright, that sounds complicated. Well, it isn't. It really isn't. So let me show you here. You need to hook this up to the ME system first. Now, remember, anything you put in here will go straight into the system. So if we take out half of our chests, we have 40, and I put in 40 in the exported items, plop, it is in the system, right? To do this, you will need, except for the interface, an ME precision export bus. And you will also need a level emitter and some cabling, of course, but the ME Precision export bus. If you put that onto the interface, so it's pointing to it. Perfect. And then you can put the level emitter on top. I shift click on top of it. It will put it so it's pointing on top. I think that works for any side. Yep, it does. Right. What the level emitter does. It takes an item that is in here and emits a redstone signal when levels are above the limit that we put in here. So I said 256, or if it's below. I'm going to, for clarity, go with below. And, let's see. Actually, let's go on above for the moment. I will be using below later. The dogs just ran by, <laughs> interesting. Redstone mode is going to be active with signal. So remember, emit when below. Okay? So when we have below a certain amount of an item, it will emit a redstone signal. So I put in sticks. This one does not know our system yet, but now it does. And we can actually put it like this. There we go. Right, so now this one checks in our ME system to see do we have. 256 sticks. No. Let me just um, add some sticks. See? 256. It's no longer emitting. And that's perfect because I don't want it to do that right now. Okay? Now, for the next step, once you have this one set up to emit when below 256, you tell this one active with signal you use the always craft items, if this is an always craft system, but for this kind of a balancer, you will want to have always craft. And then you just put in a stick. Looks difficult? No, I didn't think so. Let's try this out by going to sticks and uh, taking out two stacks. Immediately, it starts crafting items, and you can see this one is now lights on. You see here? And 256. And it switches off. That's a very simple balancer, but it can be very powerful and great to use. Um, I have some other cool applications for this, so let me show you another one that you can use. Okay, so here's another thing you can use. Um, say that you have a tree farm going and it's producing a lot of wood. 
you will want to keep a certain amount of wood in your system, but um, your main thing to do is to make charcoal, okay? You will want to make charcoal, but keep, let's say, 500 wood in the system. For this, I have put wood in. 1200, we're gonna lower this a bit uh, for when we start with this. But let's put down a powered furnace. This converts wood into charcoal. We put a basic import bus on the side of this. On the top, or we can do the back side, we put this export bus and the precision export. Well, the <laughs> level emitter. This is the precision export and this is the level emitter, okay? Now, I tell this one to emit when we are below... Actually, emit when we are above uh, 500... Let's say 500 oak wood, okay? And I tell this one to be active on redstone. You following me? If we have more than 500 oak wood, emit a redstone signal. If this one receives a signal, move items. So we put that in. We will also need ME cables, of course, because we need to hook this part up. And uh, this is starting to be a little bit of a snake's nest, but that's fine. Now, this one will start exporting oak wood until we are below 500. So, let me take out... So that we have 540. This one will keep filling up until we have 500, in which we'll see that this turns off. 505, 504 and uh, 503, 2, 1, come on, last one too, and 500, 499, and it stopped. It will now not export a single item. If I put this back in, it will start exporting again. So now, any excess wood that we get will be sent to this powered furnace, but we'll always have 500 of it, at least. If uh, we get a very high influx of oak wood, we're still fine. I mean, look, it will still be crafting this, but we have a lot, so it will take a long time. So, that's another cool thing you can do with it. You could also turn this the way around. Let's say, I want to, at all times, emit when I'm below 500 charcoal, which we are now. And we'll keep exporting until we have 500 charcoal in the system. Let's uh, create a few stacks so that we get close to... We'll need a few more st stacks. Okay, we can do... Let's do so we have 80, 95. Oh. <laughs> Let me fix that. Let's do 98. So we have 98 now. It will keep on expanding this. And now it turned off because we have 500 charcoal in the system. So that's just two ways you can do it. Either export wood until you are below a certain amount or export wood until you're above a certain amount of charcoal. So that's one application you can do with this. So I hope this has helped you a little bit. I will be making more tutorials for simple builds. Please go back and watch the tutorials if you have any questions about crafting or uh, these buzzes in general. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy this one. See you in the next one, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.